I first started coaching, I felt a little guilty and I'm sure your listeners may feel this too, if they're doing some work that's in alignment with them, because I was like, am I really doing work? Mm. Like the part of marketing and um, sales and, you know, operations, that part is work. Yeah. yeah, that stuff, bookie, all that stuff is like the work part of it. But when once we get, once someone is signed and they know they want to be here and we're on a coaching call, these questions, like the answers to the questions, just like they just come to me. I don't even have to think very hard. It's like someone having an issue. I'm like, oh, do this, try this. How would you have you thought about this? And the questions just come to me. And then I get off the call and I'm like, did I just do work or did I just help a friend? Like that's genuinely what it feels like. And in the beginning, it was like, felt so uncomfortable. Like, is this how easy it, it could, like life and work could be in terms yeah. of like coaching? There's this part in personal development where it's like, am I ever going to be this masterpiece? Like yeah. I have been yeah. working and working and working on all these things. Is it ever going to get to this place where I just feel like I am fixed almost? Mm. Yes. And I had to unlearn that. Um, <laughs> I, I'll tell, I'll tell this story and it, it happened in a therapy session and I'll never forget this day. I was in therapy and and when I first started with this therapist, she was like, you know, it seems like you are suffering from anxiety. And like, and growing up, that was not a thing. Like I, <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad, but I remember telling my brother and my aunt, I was like, my therapist says I have like anxiety. And they're like, you don't have that. What you talking about? Anxiety yeah. is not that. They literally shut yep. me down. And I was like, okay, so she's wrong. I guess. Happens all the time. Yep, <laughs> right? I know. Like, yep. Literally just dismissed me. Yep. And, and I remember then sitting in a session and I was like, okay, you say I have this anxiety thing. I need to figure this out. You've given me tools to figure it out like I've been working on the tools when am I going to be fixed like when is this going to be over mm. and she was just like this is a life journey like yeah, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna, like you're gonna have to continuously work oh. on it These, you have the tools now and you're this it's never going to just go away it's a natural feeling and I just remember looking at her like are you freaking kidding me what am I paying yeah. you for I got so pissed yeah. I was like you're not gonna fix me what I know. and and that's when I had to realize that yeah, they we're not going to be fixed. We're never going to be perfect. There's no masterpiece to get to. It's yes, more so we have to figure out what you want. And I know it. That when you hear that, I think it's one of the things like, of course, I know what I want. But most people I realize don't know what they want. No, I have um, no idea. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think I know what I want. It's almost like I, I think I should want this. That's really what it is. Yes. I should want this. But yes. really, I know if I haven't implemented something, it's because I don't really want to. So yes. yes. Yeah, go ahead. Exactly. So go ahead. Yeah. So we have to differentiate between the shoulds and what we actually want, because a lot of times what we want has been curated by what we see online or what we've seen mm -hmm. in our lives. So now we have to just think through what do you actually want? So I'll ask clients like, how many hours do you want to be spending on your self care, on your wellness, health, fitness, et cetera? How many hours do you want to spend with others, with yourself? Um, and then I'm like, all right, how many hours do you want to work? Right? Because we all go to, oh, these are my work hours. That's where we want to start. But I'm like, no, look, because because the thing is we complain about having all those work hours. So let's start backwards. Like, let's think through what is the lifestyle changes I want to make? Where do I want to be? How many hours do you want to spend? What do you want to do each day or each week or each month or each quarter, or each year, et cetera? Remember that my feelings are not facts. And if I can switch my thoughts and get started, most likely I'll be able to push past it. It's just more so that starting point, that's the hardest part. So sometimes I will say, okay, I'm not feeling it right now or I'm tired. I need to just take a nap or I need to sleep or I need to take a beat. I'll take it for 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Maybe it's the entire Monday. But yeah. Tuesday, I'm going to now adapt and move past it and start really small and at least get going on one of the things. Mm -hmm. That way I don't disappoint myself. Yeah. I know how you feel because especially as an entrepreneur, I have ideas every single day of things yeah. I want to start or do. And I just started keeping an ideas book. And I, I mm -hmm. recommend that to my clients too, because a lot of times we get distracted by our own ideas. It's not even like I get distracted by Instagram. It's more so like now I want to look up everything about this topic. <laughs> yes, I, just, I totally <laughs> do that. Yes. <laughs> And then I'm yeah. going down a rabbit hole and then I'm like, oh, shoot, it's five o'clock. Like, how yes. did I get here? Um, so I started just keeping like an ideas notebook where I'm writing down all the ideas and things. It's literally like this one business notebook where all my ideas, notes, things I want to remember are all in this one spot. And then each season I plan out when I can actually realistically make that happen. The thing I would recommend is setting up a time to meet with yourself. So mm -hmm. I would recommend at least one meeting with yourself a week. And during that meeting, what I want you to do is reflect on 
where you're currently at in your life? Like, which I may sound like a big question, but just think through like, what am I, what are the parts of my life I'm happy with, I'm content with, I've grown in, and mm-hmm. what are the areas where I want to improve? Because that'll kind of show you where your time is going well and where your time could be better spent. Okay. 